it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. You join me today with another RS381 on the channel. Really, really enjoying these things. This car, however, is actually a bit of a record breaker. Now, for those of you who don't know, the ECUs on these cars are still actually officially locked, meaning you are pretty restricted with what you can and can't do. Uh, this car has a tuning box on it at the moment, water meth injection. It is, I believe, the world's fastest locked ECU 8Y. It's running around 520 horsepower, so a big jump from the 400 brake stock. Um, but yeah, it looks absolutely awesome. So what we'll do in usual fashion, we'll catch up with the owner, Nabil, have a walk around the car, and then we'll go out for a quick spin in this 520 brake RS3 8Y. <laughs> Okay, so we're joined now with Nabil, the owner of the car. Mate, thank you so much for coming down today in the, the little record breaker. <laughs> no problem, Luke, no that's totally fine. <laughs> but like I said in the intro, there's not really too much you can do at the moment because obviously the ECUs are still locked. Yeah. But anything that could be done, you've pretty much done. So if it's all right to that's give us can do for now. a bit of a walkthrough, really. Right, um, yeah, so currently on this 8Y, you've got the Eventuri um, elbow along with the Eventuri intake here, the engine cover and the carbon bed that's on there. Yeah. I've also got the um, uh, Garrett Core intercooler, which I've recently fitted. Mm -hmm. I had yeah. the Evo 1 before, but due to draggy times not being that good, so I put the Garrett Core apparently is better. Along with that is the WMI, which I've had fitted. Yeah. It doesn't have anything in the boot. It mm -hmm. all goes through the washer liquid here for the wipers. <laughs> so that's brilliant because obviously methanol is a cleaning agent, so you could use it for the wipers yeah, itself. Yeah, absolutely. So. And proper stealth as well. That's a really clean setup. Actually. Yeah, yeah, brilliant. I mean, it fits perfectly fine underneath the Eventuri intake. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it, thanks to Infinite Performance in Glasgow, yeah. they're the ones that actually carried out this work yep. and so, made it look so professional. Yeah, so they've done everything in terms of like any work that's done. Yeah, to, they've also the done the decat down pipes, the OPF uh, yep. removal on that. Yep. So it's been running fine. I've had that for about four, three to four months now. Yeah, yeah. And that's been running perfect and uh, the WMI I've only had to fit it like three four days ago so. yeah so it's all pretty fresh yeah yeah, yeah so see how it runs and uh, see how it goes yeah so I mean before the meth injection was fitted it was running what 506 506 yeah I did it at the dyno um, three four months ago in the summer yeah. and um, yeah. it was running around 506 bhp but yeah. since then obviously I've had the intercooler and yeah. slight tweaking on the yeah. din sport and yeah exactly yeah so the, it's yeah obviously a tuning box on it as yeah well, the then. tuning box yeah. I'm currently um, uh, mapping that myself like yeah tuning it so getting Which more power cool. out of the car pretty cool in terms of draggy times because i know you've been like you said tweaking it a lot what what kind of draggy times are you getting at the moment draggy times already hit the 10 second barrier for the quarter mile nice yeah uh, i don't think i'll be pushing it any further on that the only times yeah. i am improving on is my 100 to 200 which currently stands at 7.14 nice yeah um, i'm a 0 to 63.27 so even the 0 to 60 and the 100 to 200 needs adjusting mm. but the quarter mile i'm happy with so yeah, yeah. yeah just doing slight more tweaks on that awesome and then um, see how it goes with that awesome stuff oh mate like i said like anything that could be done <laughs> without touching the easy you've done it <laughs> yeah basically yeah so there is nothing else i can else do yeah. to the car now yeah, exactly it's already had all the work uh, done yeah. to it there's nothing else so until the ECU's unlocked yeah. I really can't push um, anything more further on the yeah. car you... or get the maximum out the yeah. WMI as well yeah that's true I mean to be fair I know that you've got big plans once the ECU is unlocked because I mean these cars have huge potential anyway don't they yeah definitely um, we'll see how it goes anyway in January Infinite have called me to saying they want to do a, a build on the engine nice yeah just to yeah. see um, you know just take it to the maximum capabilities of yeah. the engineers so wow. we'll see how that goes anyway when the time comes but we want to see <laughs> what we can get out the engine as yeah. it is yeah. With stock internals awesome yeah that would be insane really really cool but yeah aside from that you've done a few little styling bits canards low-line kit that kind of thing it's a really good looking car actually um, and then around the back as well carbon lip and then a nice carbon diffuser as well is it the stock back box on it yeah yeah the yeah. rs performance exhaust um yeah yeah, 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 yeah. standard awesome stuff well i think if that's pretty much everything from the outside i think we should get it fired up and uh, and go for a drive brilliant let's do it Absolutely. Can't really compare it too much against the EVs, but it sounds so good. So yeah, with the OPF delete. All, you, literally, all you've done is the OPF delete. And yeah, the, that's all and I've done. Just a downpipe. You do almost don't need a back box, do you? You don't. But even though, like a performance exhaust, I'll say. Yeah. <laughs> it just. 
noticed that there's missing the pops and banks. Yeah. That's because obviously when the ECU is unlocked, you can put that in. Yeah, exactly. I suppose you've got the factory ones, but yeah. you can't customize you can't, it. Nah, you can't yeah. do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Due to the rear dip as well, you can spin any time. It's not like the AV. Yeah, that's true. So you got to be careful. Why yeah. you got the PS4s on it anyway? It's still yeah. grip. They just sound so yeah. good. instant kick it's though smooth. isn't it yeah it's smooth though isn't it it is actually like and, and the gearbox one. is not mapped or anything nothing standard wow. ecu so all i'm doing is messing around with the mapping you know when to bring the torque and when not yeah yeah, yeah because yeah. before it was jerking on launch but i've done it perfect now <laughs> you know you're slipping yeah so you know it's safe, you know the mapping that I've done to the yeah, car, it's and you, safe. Yeah, you can just do it over and over and over again, can't yeah, you, as well? Yeah, take it. For stock ECU, yeah. well, sorry, stock ECU software, Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you've pushed the boundary of, of what you can do. Yeah, they're definitely, these chip boxes, you know, people underestimate them. They're not, they're capable of it, of that power. It's the perfect option choose. when there isn't any alternative as well. Yeah, of course there's, definitely. Mm. I'd recommend getting one. Mm. Well, that's from my opinion anyway. Yeah. Savage. So the saloon was always an option though if you didn't want a hatchback. Yeah, yeah, definitely yeah. the saloon all yeah. the way. It gives it, like I was saying, it gives it that premium look, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Those gear shifts. Yeah. Sounds so good. It's such a comfy car though. It is just normal, isn't it? Seriously, it just grips as well. It's brilliant. It does I love actually, this car. Yeah. It's got everything now. Like, you know, mm. we were waiting on the drift to come for an Audi. Mm. And it's eventually happened with the Volvo. Yeah, yeah. So obviously, once the ECU's unlocked, what's the first plan? <laughs> just get it to stage two, basically. Yeah, yeah, two. First, yeah, yeah. first it'll be stage two, and then yeah. see what the capability is at maximum. Yeah. I just want to compare it to the AV, like, mm. where you can get the most out of this car yeah. for yeah. a stage two. Yeah. And then, think about stage uh, three afterwards. Mm -hmm. So I suppose you won't need to build the engine for stage two, would you? No, 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 no. They, they can stage handle it. As yeah. long as the torque's been capped. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what you're gonna make sure. <laughs> well, see, these factory stock they're not that loud at all, are they? They're not, they're really quiet. That's yeah. what I find it a bit boring. So I was, yeah. so that's why I went up to Glasgow, like in front of performance, they said we're willing to work on the car if you just like come up with it. So I traveled about 300, 400 miles to get wow. this done. Yeah, yeah. It was definitely worth it, put it that way. <laughs> with the noise like this, this like five pop cylinder should sound. Yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> See, it doesn't need an exhaust. No, it doesn't. It, a decap is better than any exhaust system. Because then you've still got the valves as well, I guess. Yeah, still yeah. got the valves yeah, on yeah, there yeah. as well, yeah. Because people have had the exhaust changed. You know, the, I don't know what that brand is, a Prokovic or something. Oh, Akropovic, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's it. They've had that done to it, but it's still not loud yeah. enough. It's still not got that tone like a decal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I redlined it with the, with the box on it. So if yeah. there was too much torque, the yeah. pods would have been popped out yeah, the engine by now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so how, how long do you reckon you've spent just like tweaking all the bits? Because I don't know if we really mentioned that much. Um, the DIM port box itself is about 400, 500 quid. Yeah. And, and then obviously, obviously the software, yeah. And then tweaked the, it all. Yeah, all tweaking it very slowly, just tweaking it, building it, building it, building it, and yeah. testing it, comparing it to my drag times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The drag times will exactly give you. So what, did, you've kind of mapped it yourself, I suppose. Yeah, 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 basically. <laughs> <laughs> it just sounds so good. <laughs> it sounds good. I love it. I love the noise oh, of this content. It's addictive, isn't it? Thank you so much. Nah, no worries, time, Luke. No I, worries. I tell you what, when the ECU is unlocked, 
we'll have to get it back on the channel. Yeah, definitely. This thing is definitely. going to be a beast, an absolute beast. Yeah. But of course, you can find the Beals Instagram link down in the description down below for you guys to go and check out. Plenty of stuff going on with this car, as we mentioned. Um, so yeah, go check it out if you want to learn more. But yeah, for me today, that is it. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please make sure you leave a like and make sure to subscribe for all the adventures and stuff to come. Yeah.